first of all, for a change, how good has it been to have that winning feeling around the place for the past week or so? Yeah, it's great. Um, I think obviously the gaffer spoke to her about it. Um, you know, you've got to enjoy it when you're winning and there's no better feeling on a Saturday when you come home and you've, you've got three points. Um, you can really enjoy your weekend. So obviously to have won on Saturday and then again midweek, um, it's great and it's a, it's a great feeling and one I've missed. So hopefully we can keep that. How much did it feel as though getting over kind of a psychological hump to get that win? Because there have been decent performances that haven't yielded wins recently, but to actually get it done in the last couple of matches? Yeah, I think it's frustrating as players because when you, you, you're playing well um, and you're not quite getting the rub of the green, it can be quite frustrating. Um, but, you know, everyone stuck together. Uh, management, players, everyone. Um, and, you know, we, we kept working and we kept we, we knew what we were doing was, was the right things. Um, and I think we got, what, we got what we deserved on Saturday and then obviously again on Tuesday. So, um, yeah, I suppose it is probably a bit of a bit of a relief to get the three points. But ultimately, we, we, we weren't panicking. We were, you know, very much focused on kind of the performances and, and playing well. When outside, I dare say, you, you'll be aware, you know, criticism. Teams always get criticised when they're not winning. So how, how would you sum up the kind of progression from even in a couple of weeks, I suppose, to where, where you were to, to where maybe you are now? I think um, after the Notts County game, we were, we were frustrated with our performance. I think that was probably one of our low points. Um, but since then, we've really turned a corner. I think uh, everyone's bought into everything. Um, everyone's give that extra bit and you know really sort of pushed for for results. Um, and obviously, we didn't quite get them a few times, but the performance has improved. Um, and I don't I don't know what that's down to. Whether it was the application of the lads or different things we were doing in, in training, or whatever. But I think. Um, from, it was nothing kind of major I think it was just kind of you know everyone sticking together ultimately um, and, and like I say a bit of rubber the green helped a um, bit, of, bit of fortune and, and yeah we, we got the three points so it was good It's interesting isn't it because people like me and fans will talk about things changing dramatically won't they but you might say as a footballer well training's been the same the lads are still the same but we're winning now it just looks different yeah, it's hard. Um, I think that's the hardest part as, of being a player. I think obviously you know what goes on day to day in the training ground. Um, so it, it's quite important to, to block out the noise sometimes because obviously you know it can, it can go both ways, whether it's going well or whether it's not going so well. Um, you know, certain comments or whatever can kind of derail you. So I think you've just got to sort of stay present and stay focused on kind of what's going on right at that moment and you know trust the group and, and trust the players. And I think that's what we've done and we've stuck together and uh, hopefully we've turned a corner now. Well, that was the next point. So how optimistic are you as a, as a group of players and obviously you as an individual that you can build on the last couple of games and start to, to motor on where I think we all kind of expect Doncaster Rovers to be? Yeah, um, obviously we made it clear we want to be kind of pushing for promotion at the start of the season um, and obviously that's not out of the picture uh, but obviously at the minute it doesn't look great but you know we've just got to put results together and see where that takes us. You know we'll, t we'll take things one game at a time and obviously that starts again tomorrow and then just build on that from there um, but obviously if the result doesn't go away again it doesn't mean we've totally written off and, and we're, we've you know been, been bad because we could play well and get beat again but ultimately we're, we're looking for good results now. Um, Doncaster Rovers fans have seen you play in a couple of different positions in the team. You're not allowed to say you're happy to play anywhere. Where would you prefer to play? Um, phew, truthfully, I don't know. Um, genuinely happy to play anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> not allowed to say it. Um, no, I genuinely am. You know, I, I love sort of playing here and I love playing for this club. It's a great place to play football. Um, so I think wherever I'm kind of required and, and wherever the gaffer wants us to play, I'm more than happy to play there. Um, I think probably midfield I like being a bit more involved going the other way um, but then I would say arguably I'm better at centre half so it's kind of one of them where what, what, what would you rather so um, no I'm just happy that I'm playing and happy that hopefully things are on, on the up now. When you were just specifically talking about playing centre half when you're in the same squad as, as the Richard Woods of, of this world and the Tom Andersons of this world as a young lad how much of a kind of learning exercise is it you know, dealing with those lads and talking to those lads and, and watching how they go about things. Yeah, it's great. Um, I think 
a lot of me youth career I spent playing centre back. Um, it wasn't only until a couple of years ago I, I kind of started playing more in midfield. So you know I'm used to playing there. Um, but obviously having the likes of Woody, like you said, and, and Nando and Joe, you know they've got a lot of experience in the football league, and um, I think it's, it's definitely something I can I can use to help me help my game. Um, and you know we lean on each other a lot, and I think the good thing is we've all got different qualities in the back line, and I think we'll, we'll complement each other well. Um, so I think it's just about kind of getting a bit of consistency and, and you know getting that kind of blend right and and making sure we keep the keep the ball out of the net but build attacks as well so what are you expecting from from Gillingham tomorrow normally people make sweeping statements about teams like Gillingham and tin hats and all that type of thing what what are you expecting well I think if you look at the league obviously the top of the league um, so we know it's going to be difficult um, obviously we've had a look at them and we've kind of got a rough idea of how they play but like anything you know teams can come and totally change how they play on the day where they might have watched us so you know I think we've got to be prepared for anything um, but I think you know we've got to first and foremost win the physical battle um, and then hopefully where sort of quality can shine through and we can get a positive result.